Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. The presentation consists of 16 modules. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module 16 of 16 standard and searchable reports. There are two basic report types, standard reports and quick search reports. Standard reports are pre-formatted reports for the most common types of data inquiries. It uses a crystal reports generator to create its output. Quick search reports allows you to select parameters from a list and generate a report. Power search reports uses Boolean operators to allow you to generate a report with detailed specific information. Due to the complex nature of Boolean logic, power search reports are covered in a separate presentation. To open the standard reports window, click the standard reports toolbar button or select the reports pull down menu and click on reports. Each report is a summary of information within a specific database. Each category may provide several summary options. Click the button for the type of report you need. Use the pull-down menu to identify the location to which to print. A Print Selection Unique Options button appears. You can print on screen in a new window, to a data file, or to a printer. Click the Windows Styles button to set how the on-screen window appears. Click the Export Options button to set the format in which the data should be saved. And click the Printer Options button to set the printer options. Options are set in a pop-up window. Use the pull-down menu to identify when to print. You can print right now, which is a default value, or various delay options, or specify a time. Click the Use Saved Radio button to generate the report with the existing data. Click the Refresh Data radio button to update the data before printing. The Refresh Data Radio button is typically used for controller event-based reports. Click the Print button to print the report. Click the Done button to exit the report window. And click the About button to view the revision of Crystal Reports Generator being used. You can open the Searchable Events window and generate a report based on specific data parameters by clicking the Reports pull-down menu and click Searchable Events. Two types of searchable event reports are available, Quick Search and Power Search. The Power Search are covered in a separate presentation. The Quick Search allows you to quickly generate a report by selecting from short lists of event file sorting options. These sorting options filter the event file information. Using the radio buttons to select between including everything from a category or a specific range. If you opt to set a specific range, use the pull down menus, check boxes, and fill in boxes to set the desired limits. Click the Clear button to quickly clear all the fields. 
click the View button to view the report on screen. You may print or save the report. Click the Print button to send the report to your printer. Click the File button to send the report to a text data file. If you save the report to a file, a standard Microsoft Save As window appears, allowing you to browse to the folder in which the file should be saved. Click the Options tab in the Event Reports, and then check the Reverse Order of Sort box to reverse the sort order from first to last to last to first. Click the ID Numbers in report checkbox to include user ID numbers in the report. This is typically used to support time and attendance software. The options tab allows you to set general and advanced report options. This concludes module 16 of 16, standard and searchable reports.